All right. Hey guys. Um, happy to have you here. Uh, this is episode one of my uh, Warzone 20, 2100 playthrough. So uh, in this episode I'm going through uh, the first three missions. So I, I just loaded here from um, my save and I have started construction um, as you can see. But uh, I did actually mess up my my audio recording here, so I'm doing a voiceover afterwards. Hopefully you won't let it distract you too much. So this is the first mission that we're working on here. Scavengers are ra uh, raiders are approaching our base. Defend the base and destroy the scavenger camps. Uh, so the first mission is pretty straightforward. We kind of learn uh, the interface. This guy over here is our headquarters. And... Um, yeah, so I'm just taking out their first base, and yeah, so <clears throat> the units that we start off here are uh, just super basic tanks uh, as we progress and get further technologies, as you can see, we're just about to get here. Uh, we get the ability to build um, better, yeah, so we got to research this new technology here. Uh, and we'll get the ability to build better vehicles as we progress on in the game. So I've done um, a fair amount of this mission, or this, sorry, this this whole storyline um, already. So some of it uh, I do recall, some of it I don't. Um, which hopefully you guys can follow along. It's not too complex, but the storyline is pretty interesting as well, and I very much enjoy the storyline so um, yeah Warzone 2100 though is actually an open source free game uh, anybody on Linux Windows uh, Mac can can install it 100% for free you just download it at uh, warzone uh, 2100.com and I'll, I'll put a link in the description of course so yeah we've just taken out the second base there and um, now there's just two more bases that we're going to have to take out for for this first mission here. Um, here you can see the construction menu. So this is me giving orders to one of my factories there to build some more fac to build some more tanks. And we're going to go over and take out the next base here, which you can see is uh, marked on the map there again. Yeah, it's a pretty good game. I enjoy it quite a bit. It actually has a multiplayer facility as well, so which is pretty pretty awesome. So, uh, if anybody cares to have a multiplayer match with me, I'm more than willing to do that. Of course, just uh, hit me up on uh, whatever medium is is uh, you know functional for you. <laughs> Plenty of different methods of getting a hold of people these days. Ah, curses! I hate it when I do this to myself. I, I'm, I'm, I'm watching my playthrough afterwards. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go and start that research. <laughs> Flashing at me. No flashy research. Um, and the last base that we gotta take out here is just down here. We'll go and take that out. These guys are super. Like this is the first mission. These guys are super easy. There's not. Not any strategy in terms of the vehicles that I that I'm using here. There's nothing like that. That that'll come on f further along um, when we get into the higher missions. So for now, it's just kind of you know dragging this blob of tanks around and and uh, making sure we pick up all the resources. These are oil drums, and there's basically only one resource in this game, and that's that's uh, power there at the bottom and um, power is generated uh, with oil so and another technology there and that should be the end of that mission not the best um, that I've ever done on that one I think I've actually played this with only one losses but that's okay So yeah, here we're in the next mission, and um, we'll, we'll check out. 
yeah, here we go. We'll check out the orders for this mission here. So power surge has been detected to the south of the to the south of our base, the one that we've already constructed, and we gotta go and investigate that power surge. And these rascals, I swear to gosh, so they start off right off the bat and they actually start um attacking from the bottom of my just south of my base there my already established base because they actually have a uh, base which will show up here in a bit um right below my my established base we just we got to hack through these other kind of uh orbital bases or whatever micro bases whatever you want to call them um to get to it curse you cursed flashing technologies and this is actually a timed mission but uh, it's uh, this this one is never actually a problem to accomplish within the allotted time the full hour to to get it done so <laughs> and literally all you need to do is take out like I think it's four bases that end up needing to be taken out and yeah they just they have they have flamers, which we're starting to research there, uh, which is just like a, you know, flame turret that you can mount on, onto your vehicles or put onto buildings or whatever. And these, these, yeah, those little buildings there that I'm destroying are gun bunkers. So they're basically machine guns inside a bunker, and we'll get, we'll get those technologies later on. Not too much later on. Like it doesn't take long to get them, but um, so what this what this game tends to do is it actually tends to introduce technologies to you <coughs> as as belonging to the enemy first, and then you need to go and obtain those technologies from the enemy. So the enemy is kind of assumed to be more advanced than you, which sometimes is interesting and sometimes is hellish. Yeah. So we've taken out that base there. And that gets rid of that issue right below my base. I'm going to go and take out the other other one right down here at the bottom, which actually has uh So I haven't shown you guys a whole lot, but there's actually oil rigs that you need to cap off that are the primary sources of oil. Obviously it's not just by picking up drums. There's uh, oil rigs that you get and uh, you'll see on here at some point in time that, or I'll actually show you in just a bit here, that there's uh, power stations as well. So basically you need, you can, you can have um, four oil rigs connected to each power station and uh, then those generate power for you. So if you're camping more than four oil rigs, you have to make sure that you have more than one power station because otherwise that, like, uh, those excess of four power rigs are, or sorry, four oil rigs are going to be useless to you because they're not actually going to be uh, generating power for you. Anyways. So this right here, which you see in the inside the base with the uh, circular orbity thing there that just stopped, um, is a power station. The reason that that just stopped is because we killed the oil rig that was connected to it. And so yeah, this it's a single resource uh, strategy game, but it's it still makes for uh, especially with how like there's a lot of technologies in this game. Um, so it still makes for an interesting gameplay, despite, you know, like, uh, Warcraft there, I think, has three base technologies, and Starcraft, same thing. Um, Dune, I think, only ever bothered with one. I think Spice was the only one in Dune. Could be wrong on that. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that. But yeah, it's a single resource strategy game. We just gotta take out these last few guys here and there's uh, uh, a couple turrets left as well and then this mission will be completed 
cursed flashing technologies. Oh my gosh. Alright, so for clarity, uh, in my further episodes, I will actually have um, the sound turned on on this. And um, I'll, be, I'll be doing... I, I won't be doing voiceover for it. This is actually just voiceover because I messed up uh, recording my audio when I did this initial episode one playthrough. So it won't be exactly like this, but uh, you guys will actually have some game music in here as well and sound effects. I'll try and keep it to a decent level though, obviously. Yeah, so there's there's that mission completed. And my power is ruined. Thankfully, this mission is about upgrading my power generator. So we've just gotten this new technology that's actually a power module. It's an upgrade that you can put onto your power, power generators. And um, I'm going to go ahead and research that and then I'm going to put it onto um, my one power station here. I, I'm not even 100% sure why I built two power stations already because I only have four oil rigs right now. So. <laughs> I only need to have one power station because, like I said, um, four per power station. And um, because this base actually persists throughout most of the missions except for where you're doing exploration missions, um, I'm just reinforcing that uh, oil rig that's way out of my way up there. And I've captured this other one here and built a factory beside it as well, because I'm going to need that further on down uh, the line. Yeah, so we're building our power module on our one power station there. And you can see that our, our power here is fixed up for a bit. <laughs> it's hovering right on the edge. Oh boy, not a big deal. We're not actually outputting a whole lot right now, but we did just get out of a bunch of output. Basically, the only things that are actually consuming power here are constructing these towers, which they're machine gun towers, um, and building that power module onto the power station there. So once that fixes, then once those get finished, then we'll, uh, we'll be okay. So the main reason that I want to uh, build these machine guns here is there's... There's another mission further on that actually attacks from the right-hand side there. Um, or where, where an enemy actually attacks from the right-hand side. Anyways. So, we've got another mission. We've just completed the previous one. And we need to go and load an attack force into the transport. And explore this other location that has some... Uh, that we've detected an artifact at. So, we'll do that. The first mission. This is the first mission that we actually go and get to explore another location besides our home base. Uh, so we'll just we've got this uh, transport. We can load up our current uh, units into. <coughs> Excuse me. And I just want to make sure that I have a good composition of at least a couple repair units. Yeah, so we've got some repair units in there. So that'll be good. You never know what we're going to run into. I'm going to bring these guys back up to the main base as well, and we'll, then we'll uh, get on with this mission. Excellent. Fly away. Yeah, so it's not the most fantastic graphics, and um, hopefully, my, my, my hope is that, uh, like I mentioned, I did botch up this recording a little bit, so I'll, I'll hopefully be able to provide a slightly better resolution uh, the next recording, uh, rather than this junky resolution here. Alright, so we just needed to go up to the top here, and our flashing cursor is where our artifact that we're looking for is so we'll take out these guys here and then we'll be able to collect up our artifact and and get back to 
the pickup location. Oh, I am losing units left and right. Holy cow. Damn flashy technology. Fix it, fix it, fix it. <laughs> yeah, I did not expect to lose that many units there, and it's really unfortunate that I lost my repair unit as well. I'm just going to get all of this research going here, because um, it's a good idea to do that. Get a sensor tower and upgrade to my flamer. And... Um, Oh yeah, heavy machine gun. Ooh. That's actually a really good one. And another flamer upgrade. Alright, so we're part way back down to the landing zone. I just lost another guy there. There's some kind of weird glitch sometimes with, with selecting units, and it's just usually you can fix it by just closing your uh if you have other windows open. Just close the other other window. And then it should be okay. That's that's what that was. So you got to remember, this is an open source game. The developers that are working on it are are doing it for free. Um, so keep that in mind uh, when you're <laughs> criticizing. Um, but yeah, there's not a whole lot of glitches. Li well, actually, I, that's honestly the only one that I have ever ever come across um, like that. So that doesn't happen very often. Oh boy, they set another ambush for us. Eesh. Yeah, see, this is exactly where it would have been really good to have some repair units. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I cut this way too close. Three units left to get back to the landing zone. If I had lost all of those guys, this mission would have been failed. Anyways. Completed. And um, that's it for episode one here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, I hope you come back and join me again.